The ride quality over small sharp bumps isnt bad, but mid-range bumps are felt and heard, and it never quite settles down on smooth motorway quality roads, which can make it a bit tiring for long distances. As ever MG's UK setup team has made a car that is positive to drive, with a decent steering system, which makes up for a slight lack of precision with feedback and progressive weighting. There's a threat position steering weight selection, but you are best leaving it in normal, where you can feel the car on the road and what the tires are doing, which makes you confident of its abilities. The electronic stability program steps in rapidly if it detects any way we're driving, but on the whole it's quite fun. With an entry price of £12,495, the MG offers simplicity and value for money in the class, even if it has nothing to do with William Kimber's famed pre-war MG sports cars and saloons. The ZS seems highly likely to double MG sales, although it will remain a bit player in this most popular market, even if it is a warning shot to other manufacturers who seek to rely solely on the good names. MG has an enviable reliability record and its dealers look after their customers and the ZS is a perfectly acceptable and actually quite likable car the Chinese aren't coming, they are here right now and they're making pretty good cars. The facts MG ZS tested 999cc, 3-cylinder turbo petrol, 6-speed, automatic gearbox, front-wheel drive PRI CEO and sale range from £12,495 to £17,495 £17,495 is test ad now POWERTORQUE 109bhp at 5,200 revolutions per minute 18 pounds feet at 1,800 revolutions per minute top speed 1 112 miles per hour acceleration 062 mph in 12.4 sec fuel economy 44.9 mpg 34.5 mpg eu combined urban on test 29 mpg co2 emissions 144 gkm ved 200 pounds first year then 140 pounds verdict an honest and straightforward small suv crossover which surpasses its cheap and cheerful market positioning by being quite good to drive well built and spacious the 999cc three-cylinder is the best engine, but like all such engines it doesn't achieve anything like its claimed economy. Telegraph rating three stars out of five the rivals Nissan Duke, from £14,880 Nissan's inspired small SUV broke cover in 2010 and virtually created the market into which rival manufacturers are now rushing. With Renault-Nissan Alliance drivelines, the Duke has similar driving character to the similar Renault Capture, but it's more fun and it rides a bit better. Ford EcoSport, from £15,645 now in its third iteration, this is still a pretty lacklustre product, based on a developing world car. In European terms the EcoSport has poor cabin design and materials and unpleasant driving dynamics, even if its steering and cabin space are up to par. Peugeot 2008, from £16,300, basically a 208 jacked up by 100mm, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The cabin quality is good, as are the drive lines. There's a clever anti-scrabble off-road traction device, too, but it looks unexceptional, which isnt good in this market and the driving position is weird. For tips and advice, visit our advice section, or sign up to our newsletter here AZ Car Finder.